Well, uh, we first of all, we thought it was a good idea to, to bring the movie out again because there's a whole group of young people coming up as movie fans that never got the opportunity to see the film in theaters. And we think it's a very, very different experience between watching it on streaming and watching it in a movie theater with the 3D and with the size of the screen, the brightness of the image and so on. It's much more immersive. And the film was initially authored for the big screen. That was what we had in mind. The, the new experience, uh, the film is better. It's, it's been, re I mean, it was pretty good to begin with, but it it's been remastered in 4K, so Atmos sound, 9.1 sound, which wasn't available at the time. Uh, we've used high frame rate judiciously in places to improve the quality of the 3D um, and uh, high dynamic range. And so we've remastered it for high dynamic range. So it, it looks better, it sounds better, it just plays better. Um, and obviously, you know, people's memories fade over 10 years and they may sort of start to question, oh, well, you know, it was kind of a big deal at the time, but maybe it wasn't really all that, you know, well, guess what? It is. <laughs> uh, look, I think that it was, it's good for our industry that a film like Endgame could demonstrate that there's still a big desire to go to the movies. And then, of course, we got the pandemic after that, and, and people were hanging back for safety reasons, obviously. Now they're coming back to cinemas, and we're seeing a real growth in the, in the theatrical film market, which is great. It's coming back. We're still only at maybe 80% or 85% of where we were pre-pandemic, but hopefully a film like uh, Avatar 2, you know, uh, uh, Avatar The Way of Water, coming into the marketplace can help that as well. You know, remind people um, how great it is to go to the movies and have that experience. Well, I think the Studio Ghibli stuff with its magical kind of realism and, it, and its kind of slightly outside of reality feeling, I always respected that work, you know, the, those, those artists in that particular vein of anime. The, the harder, edgier anime didn't really have its place relative to the, to the uh, Avatar world. But uh, I, I really always enjoyed the, uh, the, the Studio Ghibli, um, you know, animation. Not that we particularly ever copied a specific thing. It was really more of a feeling that a movie can be beautiful, that a movie can work on an, on an almost dreamlike level. Well, it's, you know, I would just say that I know that Japan really embraced Avatar the first time and film fans, uh, you know, really love the, the film. So I hope you'll remember that the theater experience is different and go there and reconnect to that memory that you, that you had back then. And to the younger Japanese fans uh, that haven't seen it at all other than streaming or Blu-ray or something like that, you know, please go and enjoy, uh, have that experience on Pandora. faces. You have a strong heart. No fear. Ah! 